Hey Pokemon Go fans, you guys didn't think that I forgot about you, did you? Actually, quite frankly, recently I've been playing a lot of Let's Go Pikachu, so I didn't really have time to play Pokemon Go. So today, actually it's the same day that I'm still doing Let's Go Pikachu, but I'm going to take a bit of time to do some Pokemon Go. So what we're going to do right now is that we actually haven't had our Meltan yet, which is the one that we can transfer from Let's Go Pikachu to Pokemon Go through a mystery gift. Uh, basically, first things first. So, first things first, we gotta go to the settings, right? And then we gotta go and sync with uh, Nintendo Switch. So, you go down here, there's a Nintendo Switch button right there. And then you're gonna connect to Nintendo Switch. I actually have to do some Googling here. And it says that you have to go into the account itself and click on this. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Okay, we like to pair. Yes, I do. Ah, nice. So it has detected my account. Awesome! Now that we already paired our Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, we're gonna go into the part where we can start sending gifts. Okay, unfortunately, I actually did some research and I realized that I have to reach Fush Fushia City, then only I can trade with Pokemon Go account, so that means I'm st I have a, a bit of a way to go. I, bet, I guess we cannot do the Meltan quest for today. We can continue our Meltan special research that's in Pokemon Go. And if you see here, I already completed like 3 out of 9 already. So there's more to go and maybe we'll do some today, perhaps. Have you guys seen the new Pokeball Plus when there's a Pikachu inside? If you put a Pikachu inside this Pokeball from the Pokemon Let's Go, right? And then you hold it for like about 2 seconds and then you should light up yellow. I think Pikachu is yellow, I haven't tried other Pokemon yet. And then you shake it. After a while, we will light up like all those kind of um, rainbow colors and stuff. So you can do all kinds of stuff. Like, let me show you guys. If you put it down and then you roll it. <laughs> okay, but anyway, what we're going to do is that we want to attach this Pokeball Plus to our Pokemon Go. So right now, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to connect. So this is the first time I'm going to try it out. So, Pokeball Plus. Ah, here it is. Turn it on. After enabling it, it should register. And it's it! Awesome! So, we're gonna take this out. It's like the Go Plus, right? So, I think it's kinda cool. Alright, so there's gonna be a few things I wanna do outside. Um, there's a few raids I wanna do. If I can find them, if not, then that's unfortunate. But today is the last day of Giratina, so I don't know what's gonna be the next Pokemon, but. That doesn't really matter because Giratina is, well, you know, it's for me it's a trophy kind of Pokemon. But I do want to show you guys something. But let's do that outside. Times, just like that, just like Carol, you sang. Oh, he didn't let us bring it home. <laughs> what? No bring way! Look at this. I just found a shiny Eevee just by driving around. I mean, I was I'm looking for a raid right now, but cool, shiny Eevee. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we're going to start off with a raid on a Pokemon that I don't even have yet, which is Buizel. Now, I know this guy's been out for a while. I mean, I'm a bit slow on this because uh, I haven't had time to actually find this guy and actually battle him, but... Okay, at least we're going to be able to catch our first new Pokemon. And actually, to be honest, we're going to evolve a couple of new Pokemons after this, so... Yeah, I'm very excited about today. That was easy. So Buizel evolved into Floatzel, if I'm not mistaken, and... It's not the strongest water type in, you know, Pokemon Go, obviously, but yeah, it's nice to have it. Buizel is now in our Pokedex. Nice. So this looks exactly like the one from uh, Go Plus, right? But the one thing I realized about this is that I have no chance to show you right now, but when you encounter a Pokestop, right? A Pokestop. And then you shake this without pressing any buttons, right? It will collect the items from the Pokestop. So technically speaking, if you only turn on just to collect Pokestops, right? You just shake it as you walk around, you just collect them all. It's very cool, very cool. Anyway, right now we have another raid going on. We're gonna fight a Shinx, and unfortunately I already caught a Shinx, so it's not a Pokedex entry, but I don't have a shiny yet, and I really want a shiny. So in the future, if I ever meet any of you viewers and you guys have an extra Shinx, you know who to call, okay? Because I need that shanks. 
So this is going to be a very quick battle and with that, we are definitely going to finish our chapter 3 of this special quest for Meltan. Yeah, then we're going to move on to chapter 4 and onwards to chapter 9. Wow. I have like 7 days to go before the end of the chapter and I gotta move fast. It's raining, it's raining. 500 CP is the max CP. Correct me if I'm wrong. It would be so cool if I can get a shiny right now. Come on, 500, 500. Give me that 5. Oh crap. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Alright, so with that said, we have we can finally claim our last reward for the Let's Go Meltan. Here we go. Chapter 3 is complete. Okay, so I don't want to read this. Uh, so next thing to do is catch 5 steel type, catch 5 electric type Pokemon, and earn 5 candy from walking your buddy. Okay, fair enough. So, 5 Steel Type and 5 Electric Type should be simple enough because there's a lot of Magnemites around, shiny Magnemites. So yeah, uh, I guess that should be simple enough. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to focus on this chapter for this episode anymore. I got other things to do and I want to show you guys. My god, it's really pouring outside. Joined here with a bunch of stray dogs here. They're just looking for shelter because it's raining really heavy right now. As you guys can see, hopefully, hopefully you guys can hear it. But yeah, I have like an audience here, right? Anyway, I want to show you guys something. I caught a new shiny Pokemon the other day. Look at this. I caught a shiny Pikachu. It took me so long to find this shiny Pikachu, but it was so worth it because I don't know. It just took me too long to find a shiny Pikachu. And on top of that, that day itself, if you guys look here. After I caught this shiny Pikachu right here, I caught a shiny Eevee like immediately after that. And this was like I think a few days ago. And then after that I hatched a Ditto that was 100% IV. That, it's insane. All, ha all of them happened in one day. That was crazy. And just now I caught this shiny Eevee. So yeah, shiny day is not bad. I'm going to do some evolution. So right now there is this quest called uh, Evolve to Anorith. Now I don't have... Uh, the evolution of Anorith right now. Anorith. Alright, there it is. So, Anorith evolved into this thing that looks like Sid from Ice Age. You know, I think most of you guys call it Sid, right? And the rain is like pouring and I hope my camera don't get too wet in this. Uh, I gotta move it a bit. Okay, I hope this is better. Okay, here we go. We have our new Pokemon. I think this is called Aromaldo, if I'm not mistaken. Aromaldo, yeah, I was right. Okay, so yeah. New Pokemon, new Pokedex entry, the umbrella, please don't go away. I feel so bad for the dogs, they're like homeless and stuff, you know? Hang in there, boys, hang in there. Okay, so that's one down. We're gonna evolve another one right now. So, we have our second Armado down, and that's it for this quest. So, let's claim that reward. I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. And I get a Scyther. Yeah, I think later on in the quest for the Let's Go Meltan, we need to catch a Scyther, so I'm gonna leave this right now. I want to show you guys the Pokeball Plus just now. So check this out. Once you register it, right? And then it blew, right? And then you shake it. And then immediately you catch it. I didn't click anything. That is so amazing. Okay, all the dogs are back already. <laughs> One more evolution I need to do right now. And this is the biggest and the most anticipated evolution for me, at least. It's the evolution of Dusko. So if you guys didn't know that Dusko actually have a third stage evolution, which is Dusnor in the Gen 4. And I actually have one Dusko. Actually, I have two Dusko. One is a 100% Dusko. One is a shiny Dusko. So we're going to evolve the shiny one into a Dusnor because why not, right? So here we go, guys. I can't believe I'm, shine I'm evolving this guy, but you know, I'd rather see a, evolution, a shiny evolution than a, a normal one. Okay, here we go. Shiny dust clocks. And we're gonna get our Pokedex now. Here we go, guys. 3, 2, 1. And I already have my Sinnoh Stone. I only have one, though. 3, 2, 1. Here we go. I know I'm supposed to evolve like Rhyperior or something, but I, I couldn't care. I, I couldn't care less, you know. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Pokedex entry. Why is his head cut off? I don't know. It does not. Here we go. 
shiny one too. Wow, that looks amazing. Anyway, uh, I think that's about it for today's episode. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of shiny, there's a lot of evolution, there's a lot of new Pokedex entry and stuff. Very excited and everything. Uh, and there's gonna be more Pokemon Go episodes in the future, I promise. It's just that these few days I'm gonna be playing a lot of Let's Go Pikachu, at least I'm gonna finish the game. So if you guys are not interested in that, you can wait until I release the next Pokemon Go video. It's coming, don't worry. But if you guys want to watch more of me, check out all my Let's Go Pikachu because I'm gonna put out every single segment of the game as I go along with it. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Peace out, say goodbye doggies because you guys have been a great audience and I'll see you guys in a Let's Go Pikachu. Take care.